So never say never, it's never over until it's over. Oh, it's a bit precarious up here. I'm trying to remain calm this morning. I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying not to go into headless chicken mode. A very good morning and welcome back to the channel. I've come out this morning for some woodland photography in Hay Woodland Park, just outside Wigan. I had forecast for mist. Not sure what to expect today. Um, have a wander, see what we can find and uh, join me on the adventure. So for this morning's first shot we've got this lovely sycamore tree, beautiful perpendicular tree trunk stretching up into the sky with the fronds and the leaves and the little branches popping out every now and again up the trunk from the right hand side with some lovely vibrant greens. It was raining all day yesterday so there's some lovely water left on the leaves and it's providing that lovely sheen, that shine and a real contrast to the browns and the dark greens of the other tree trunks. So I'm zooming in, I've got the 24 to 70 on, I'm zooming in right to 70 mil. Let's take him out the sky. I'm at f5.6, ISO 100, half a second exposure. I'll take that now. And that mist, that little bit of mist is giving the separation between the sycamore tree and the other trees in the background. And we've also got some nice understudy with the, the, with the leaves at the bottom just branching out, providing a nice anchor, a nice base to this image. I think uh, it's always good to get that first image in the can, get that first photograph taken and get your confidence going for the rest of the day. So uh, we will carry on and see what else we can find. That's the first shot in the can and just noticed to the left of this sycamore tree there's what I think is a beech tree with beautiful like tendril like branches sticking out from the side. The sun is just beginning to catch the top of the, uh, the woodland up there. Sunrise was at 6.07 this morning, it's now 6.32 and that first light is just beginning to hit the tops of the trees. But this, this beech tree here with the tendril arms, it looks beautiful, almost like a dancer. So for this one, again, F5.6 ISO 100, zooming in all the way to 70. Take that shot. Again, the mist providing the separation. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. So I've just come down from this knoll here, which gave me that height, that advantage to shoot those first two images. Just come down, like I say, off that knoll and I happened upon this little group of trees here. And what really caught my eye here was the, the greens, the lush greens of the mosses and the grasses in the woodland understory here, which provide a beautiful carpet. And we've got mosses, on the trees we've got some early spring growth and some green blooming. I think this might make for an image so just zooming in here keep that trunk on the left hand side as part of the frame get that understory into the image again f5.6 ISO 100, a third of a second. 
taking that image. And again, that mist is just providing the separation from the, the trees and the branches in the background. Let's just review that image. Yeah, it's lovely with the greens. The greens are really popping on the back of the screen here, so hopefully that will come out in post. Okay, good start to the morning. I'm, I'm pleased so far. It's 6.40. I'm giving you a timeline this morning. But yeah, it's uh, really, really nice, that. We'll uh, head on, carry on, see what else we can capture. come down the steps just crossing the stream here again some beautiful greens oh, it's a bit precarious up here uh, I'm on top of the bridge as you can see got the tripod leg through the railings quite precariously balanced just giving the old polarizer filter a bit of a white there because the mist is just steaming up the the polarizer so for this shot we're looking down we've got the river douglas meandering through the woodlands underneath here we've got these trees with the first light just beginning to catch we've got the mist over the water and we've got a lovely carpet of a very invasive Himalayan balsam, which is again providing a beautiful understory to this image. What am I doing, Andrew? Right, okay, so for this shot, I've gone, I've got the polarizer on, I'm at f11, it's uh, 1.3 seconds. Let's see what this one comes out like. So I am trying to remain calm this morning, I'm trying not to panic, I'm trying not to go into headless chicken mode in such beautiful conditions like this, it's so easy just to panic, so I'm trying to just stay calm, stay relaxed Andrew, and uh, as you can see the sun is rising now behind me, that mist is dissipating, but probably the last shot of the day, maybe, maybe one more. I'm not too sure but we've got this beautiful beech tree here with the coppery burnt orange leaves on this branch that's at 90 degrees to the trunk so just lining that one up again at ISO 200 f5.6 1 15th of a second and take that one now not sure about that one guys not sure if we've lost too much of the mist but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see anyway So never say never, it's never over until it's over. Uh, as I said, the sun was rising from behind me and now I've walked towards the sun and I've got this absolutely beautiful scene here with the sunlight streaming through this pocket of mist that's lingering in the woodlands. For this scene here, we've got some beautiful contrasting colour with the vivid bright greens on the tree trunks from the leaves and from the ivy contrasting against the dark of the trunks we've got the beautiful sunlight streaming through the scene and the mist adding that ethereal magical mystical feel to the image again this looks really nice on the back of the camera but until we get it back who knows but again 
I'm just chasing the mist now, just chasing the light. I'm still staying calm. I'm still staying relaxed. I've got some good images today so far. And I don't want to uh, to spoil it. So it's just a question now of taking it in, relaxing, enjoying the scene, listening to the birds. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'll take that image. Looks good, guys. Happy with that. On mornings like this it's just delightful to be out in nature out in the countryside exploring the great outdoors just listen to that bird song absolutely gorgeous so I was over here for that last shot, I've got that lovely colour contrasting with the greens and the mist and the shafts of light shining through the woodland. Probably my favourite shot so far of the day. And this one's a bit experimental. I've walked into that mist, which is beginning to subside now. But I've got these vertical tree trunks rising up into the sky with the mist behind shooting directly into the sun I'm exposing for the brightest part of the scene to give a real contrast to the shot so the tree trunks will be almost black in fact this might look good in black and white I'm at ISO 100 f8 1 500th of a second That could be quite nice. Okay, so I've definitely had the best of the conditions. Didn't quite know what to expect this morning and it's been a pleasant surprise. Got a good degree of mist. I think I've got some good images. Um, but as the sun has risen now and the mist dissipated, I thought I'd just try my hand at a little bit of ICM. Uh, not done this for a long time. In fact, last time I did this was on a beach in Cornwall. So one, one twenty-fifth of a second. ISO 100. Quick flick of the wrist. Just flick that wrist. And uh, if any of those images are any good. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're quite nice. I shall put those up for you and you can have a look at those as well.
that's it for me this morning definitely done with the photography been a beautiful morning absolutely had a great wonder really enjoyed myself out in this beautiful weather we had the mist forecast which did deliver i uh, wasn't quite sure what to expect uh, driving here through some thick fog patches got my expectations quite high and then when i arrived and parked up and started walking through the woodlands it was quite uninspiring until i reached that knoll where we took the first photographs and the mist was encapsulating the woodland and provided with a few good images to kickstart the morning which was great and then wandering through the woodlands there were patches of mist here and there and then we landed upon that beautiful scene i think i called it my favorite image of the morning we shall wait and see until i get it back into post but that was just a beautiful sight really beholding of the woodlands very very nice indeed definitely a spot i would come back to definitely keep an eye on the weather also got me handing a bit of icm at the end there uh, see what those images come out like but i do hope you've enjoyed the journey through hay woodland park up here in wigan it's been a beautiful morning really enjoyed it so all that remains for me to say is take care stay safe be good see you on the next one goodbye